Sexual violence in conflict is a terrible crime, mainly against women and girls, but also affecting men and boys. As we today mark the International Day for the Elimination of Sexual Violence in Conflict, the COVID-19 pandemic makes it more complicated to tackle gender-based violence. Gender-based violence does not come and begin with pandemic like COVID-19, but instability and lockdowns are providing an environment that may lead to an increase in violence, including sexual violence. As Myanmar focuses in on preventing the spread of COVID-19, gender-based violence survivors may, may face additional challenges to seeking and receiving help. I commend frontline helpers, including health workers and social workers, who are finding ways to support those affected despite lockdowns and quarantines. On this International Day for the Elimination of Sexual Violence in Conflict, the Embassy of Norway stands in solidarity with the survivors. We will listen to them and act on their experience and decisions. We are committed to continue to work with the government of Myanmar to prevent and to end these crimes. We encourage the government of Myanmar to continue to engage with the international community on the implementation and monitoring of their action plan on conflict-related sexual violence.